Hi Year Sixers, my name is Mrs Rowling and I'm one of the English teachers here at Eastleek Academy and we're really looking forward to welcoming you in September. So what we're going to do very quickly is give you a little introduction um, into what your English lessons will be like when you start with us in Year 7. So each lesson will have a key focus. So for us today, our focus is to understand how to write creatively and to use engaging vocabulary to do that. Hopefully two things you're already brilliant at. Um, so in your lessons with us, often we'll have a quick starter activity just to give you um, a taster and to get you engaged into the lesson. So on the board you've got three words that are jumbled up. What I would like you to do in a moment is to press pause and to have a go at unscrambling those words. And then if you can, jot down your own definitions for each. So pause now. Okay, so hopefully you've been able to unscramble them. Some of them, well hopefully all three of them actually, are quite easy, but it doesn't matter if they're not. So the first one is vocabulary, second one is sophisticated, third one is imaginative. And obviously because we're thinking about creative writing, there are three key words that we would be focusing on. So thinking about using um, being creative and imaginative, you've got an image on the board of a little girl from a short movie, which if you haven't seen it already, there'll be a link at the end for your teacher to show you. Um, what I would like you to do is to use your skills of inference, so reading between the lines, looking really carefully at the image and trying to figure out any ideas that you have about her, um, and your imagination to answer these three questions. So who do you think this girl is? How old might she be? Where do you think she lives? So look at the background for that. Um, what or who do you think she's looking at? So think about her facial expressions and how do you think she feels about what she's looking at? And again, if you can, think about the evidence and refer to the evidence to support your ideas. So pause now to have a go at doing that. Okay, so hopefully you've come up with some really good ideas about her age. We would assume that maybe she's quite young and obviously because of that, maybe whatever she's looking at, it's having a big impression on her. So it might be, for example, a toy that she's wanted desperately for, for a long time or maybe it's something a little bit more sinister. Hopefully you've come up with some really good ideas about that. So moving on from that, what I would like you to think about now is what we said at the beginning, ambitious vocabulary. So if we think about this girl, I would like you, and I don't know if you have um, thesaurus to hand, if you do, grab one, if not, don't worry. And I want you to come up with five to 10 words to describe this girl, but they need to be ambitious. So none of these words, we don't wanna hear nice, we don't want to hear friendly, or even surprise. See if you can think of better words to describe her. So again, what does she look like? How might she be feeling? Can you think of some better words um, than these ones on the board? So, some examples here then, and hopefully you've got some similar or even better. So, she might be feeling astonished by what she's seen, startled. So if we look at her facial expressions, the, the, the mouth open makes her appear quite startled or stunned alarmed, terrified, amazed, or maybe in awe of something. Maybe she's looking at something that's really obviously captured her attention um, and it's something that she desperately wants. So again, these are the kind of things that we would do just to get us thinking about using our vocabulary before we start to put them into an example. So what I would like you to do now is thinking about that vocabulary that you've just come up with I would like you to have a go at just writing one to two sentences or a paragraph, depending on how much time you've got, to continue from where I've left off here, describing this scene. So if we have a look, the thing that the girl was actually looking at is a doll of herself. So this, this, this doll has appeared in this window and it looks exactly like her. So I'm going to have a read of this. And then I would like you to pause and to carry on from where I've left off. So it says, the narrow and menacing street seemed to stretch on for what seemed like an eternity. So think about the ambitious vocabulary that we're trying to use. 
No one was around and an eerie silence made Alma shudder involuntarily. It was in that moment that she heard it, heard the gentle and slow tap on the window behind her. So what I would like you to do is have a go at carrying that on. So pause now, use your thesaurus if you've got one, um, to help you with that. Okay, so hopefully we've got some really, really good examples of writing using ambitious vocabulary. And if you're with your teacher, hopefully you'll be able to um, listen to some examples. So, they're the kind of things that you can expect um, from September when you come and join us at East Leaf Academy. If you liked the look of the um, short movie from the images, if you do a Google search and you just put Alma short film, it will be the first thing that pops up and watch the um, short film and see what you think. Um, and hopefully, if I've got some of you in September, you can tell me your thoughts on it. So, we are really looking forward to seeing you. Um, we hope that you have enjoyed this session and all of the other ones that you've watched and we'll see you soon. Bye!